What's going on everybody, it's Charles. In this video, I'm gonna be building a roll cart for an apprentice mechanic, and I'm gonna try to do it for under 1500 bucks. So first up in building a roll cart or a toolbox is finding the roll cart or toolbox. I took a trip over to Harbor Freight and picked up the 30 inch five drawer roll cart for $269.99 plus tax. Now with this roll cart, and pretty much everything, you could probably even do better than I did by finding sales, finding coupons, or buying things secondhand at garage sales and pawn shops. But I wanted to make sure that whatever I did was somewhat repeatable. The goal that we have here is to build a starting roll cart for an apprentice technician. You guys may or may not know, but I spent the majority of my career at the dealer training and mentoring the new guys. This whole idea came about with some conversations I've had with my old dealership. So I suggested maybe we build a roll cart to give them on their first day so that these new technicians don't have to come out of pocket with a ton of money just to walk in the door. So what I did was I picked a mix of some tools that I really like and I still use, things that have lifetime warranty, and some tools that are actually pretty good but also really affordable. Now there's a thousand other ways to set these up, everything from a box like this one, which is pre-set up and has this really great foam organization to going on the tool truck and spending a ton of money. But one of the things that I absolutely hate is seeing new technicians jump on that tool truck and get in a ton of debt before they even really have their feet underneath them. Now, in putting this together, I didn't really remain loyal to one brand over another. I just tried to find the best tool at the best price that I possibly could. Now, if you see a tool that you're like, hey, Charles, there's a better version of that, drop that down in the comments and let us know. I really wanna use this as a guide for young technicians to put together a good cart that isn't gonna set them back a fortune. See, when you're first starting out as a technician, quantity of tools really needs to be the focus over quality. But hey, most of this stuff I got still has a lifetime warranty. Okay, so I got the roll cart built. Of course I chose yellow because it is the fastest color. This roll cart is actually a pretty solid deal at like 270 bucks, very similar to the roll cart that I normally use, which is over there. The only thing I really would change about this roll cart is two things. They make bumpers for the side here. I would probably add those. And I actually wish that the casters on all four rotated. At the dealership that I used to work at, moving around the shop is somewhat common, so that's why I chose a roll cart over a toolbox. Okay, it's time to get some tools in this toolbox. Now, as we go through this, you're probably gonna think to yourself, Charles, that's the worst organization ever on the planet. You might be right. I'm gonna change my mind 75 times throughout this part and I'm not gonna be the one using it. So ultimately, it doesn't matter what I think. Let's go ahead and get some of the sides of this roll cart at the top loaded up. We got some screwdrivers, of course. I actually have and use this set of screwdrivers pretty often. I also got a set of picks. This set of picks was a pretty good deal and picks are another one of those things that are super, super valuable for taking seals off and stuff like that. I'm gonna need a struggle counter for how much I struggle opening all this stuff. Probably put the picks in this drawer. This feels right. Since I got that drawer open, we'll go ahead and throw some trim tools in there as well. You never really know what kind of jobs you're gonna really start out as doing as an apprentice. So I felt like this was a pretty good mix of what I seem to remember our, our new guys doing at the dealership. Now this is not gonna be everything that you need couple of hammers, a dead blow, and a mallet. Uh, this is not gonna be everything you need. You're gonna need more stuff. But the whole goal here was, how do we get enough things just to like get the kid in the door, get him going, get him something, so that it's not super overwhelming on day one. You feel like you need to spend like five grand in tools. Oil change pliers. Now, something that I use all the time, and these are my absolute favorite, is these VIM kits. I got a mini Torx which is this, and I've been using these sets for just for years and years and years. So, mini Torx, this triple square. Keep in mind, this is built for a Volkswagen or probably an Audi technician. So if you don't use triple squares or you know the brand that you're gonna go work on doesn't use triple squares, buy something else, because you probably won't need these. But these kind of things are becoming pretty common, so um, it may not be bad to have. And if you're getting a job at an independent shop that works on everything, this probably isn't gonna cut it. Then we have these little stubby hex, which I also use frequently. 
it's funny, you know, you think of $1,500 and you're like, man, that's a lot of money. And then you start buying tools and you're like, that's not a lot of money. But I will tell you, the dealership is paying for all these tools. So the whole idea was like giving the new, the new tech these tools um, when they start. So they have tools and they can just keep them, upgrade as needed. It's pretty fun shopping for tools with someone else's money. These Husky pry bars are actually pretty legit. They, uh, they also have a strike cap on them, so you can whack them with a hammer. Will it fit? Oh, it does fit. Nice. Fresh. Something that I'm sure won't fit in one of those things is this long breaker bar. I actually bought one just like this when I first started, and I still have it. I don't use it all that often, but I still have it. You're probably gonna end up in your career needing more pliers than these, but these were a couple that I felt like were pretty important to have right out of the gate. Small pair of needle nose, small pair of side cutters, and then a pair of hose clamp pliers. This style is my favorite. I'll go ahead and get these in here next to our oil filter wrench. Next up, pretty much need an impact gun. I went back and forth on whether um, pneumatic or battery was the right way to go. And I landed on pneumatic, especially because typically you're gonna be doing more tires than uh, kind of like at volume. So picked up this earthquake gun, yellow to match because you gotta be fancy. This is another one of those tools that I have and I use pretty regularly. In fact, I used it to put, <laughs> to put the cart together and that's these Milwaukee drill and impact drivers. This is a place where if you wanted to save some money, you definitely could, but I feel like this is a place where you're gonna use this tool a lot. In fact, my impact driver at the dealer was probably one of my most used tools, period. Taking off belly pans and all that kind of stuff. And so these little M12 drivers are phenomenal. And this one comes with a drill too, which we didn't use a drill, a proper drill a ton, but you still ended up using it enough that you needed to have it. And these guys absolutely love them. This comes with the impact, the drill, and two um, M12 batteries. I think a five, four amp hour, four amp hour. And then what are these, two amp hours, the little ones? I like the little ones a little bit better. Along with those impact drivers, something I loved is these little adapters for quarter inch and three eighths uh, sockets. I'm not gonna take these out of the package. I'm just gonna leave them in there because I worried they're gonna get lost. A Couple more somewhat specialty Volkswagen tools, 32 millimeter socket and 36 millimeter socket. These are primarily for doing oil changes. All right, we're gonna keep those up top because that's gonna be something they're going to use pretty regular. Telescoping magnet. So we got our magnet and we have our inspection mirror, a set of reducers, or as I like to call them, switchers. I might leave those in the thing too. Pen light, one of my favorite ones of all time. I have mine that I use all the time here. Uh, wonderful light. I'm also gonna leave that in the package because I feel like that'll get lost. Next up, we got some impact sockets. This is a place where you can really go like wild and get all the different depths and swivels and all that stuff. But when you're just starting out, at least you have something to take off wheels and maybe unbolt subframes. Set this whole socket kit down in the bottom drawer. We have a couple of socket holders that I'm not gonna load up just yet. But we're gonna do that pretty soon. And actually, maybe I'll put the half inch drive one in. Now I didn't spend a ton of money on half inch drive tools. Unfortunately, we gotta cut something, right? We only have so much money. Got some magnetic parts trays, which I live by. Something that's probably gonna be highly debated on whether or not Icon torque wrenches from Harbor Freight are any good. Um, look, are they snap-on tech wrench with angle measurement good? No, but in testing, like, They've performed pretty well. And let's face it, rookie technicians are not gonna be rebuilding engines. What they need to torque is drain plugs and oil filter housings and wheels. So I went with just a standard basic 3 ace torque wrench, right? Nothing crazy. 
and then a little bit nicer split beam half inch drive because they're gonna be torquing a lot of wheels. They're gonna be torquing wheels and, and getting in those habits of torquing wheels properly and drain plugs properly and things like that is gonna be vital early in the career. That's what builds the good habit. If they were jumping in and rebuilding transmissions where like torque and angle were proper on day one, I would have made a different choice. But I just, I know I'm on repeat a little bit, which I hate doing, but like, this is what you need to get going. This is not gonna be your tools for the next 30 years. This is just enough to get your feet wet, hands wet, and it's gonna go up to where they need it torquing wheels, subframes, and stuff like that. So this is uh, it's actually not bad at all. It's actually not bad at all. Oh, it's not going to fit. Well, the case doesn't fit in the cart because I didn't measure, but that's OK. We're just going to include it anyway. Now, there is one other thing that I got, and that's this set of Allens, but I'm actually not going to use these because the gear wrench kit that we got has some in there. Now, next up, we're going to go through the gear wrench kit that I picked up that we did get on sale. Normally, I don't like buying kits like this because there's often a lot of stuff that you don't really need. My first tool kit was very similar to this, and it actually worked out pretty good. So here's the gear wrench kit that we picked up on sale. This is pretty cool because it comes with ratcheting wrenches and a whole bunch of sockets. Now, the reason I got this one is it came with Torx, it came with Allens, it came with some bit drivers, it even came with e-Torx and a driver. So I'm actually just going to take this entire tray out of this plastic housing and I'm going to put it at the bottom drawer of our roll cart. Tool organization is pretty expensive, so we might as well use this to organize. It's not the best use of space, but it keeps our stuff where it's supposed to be. Next up, I'm gonna load up the socket trays. This has 3 8 and quarter inch. It also has some 12 point and some six point. We're gonna have extra sockets, but we can just keep it in this plastic tray. 20, you notice it comes with a 21 and 22. You'll actually probably use those. Then we'll also go ahead and load up our deep ones, which they're a little shorter on the deep ones, but that's okay. Does it not have an 11 or a 12? That's weird. Not a big deal for Volkswagen, but kind of weird. This one also has a spark plug socket. Drop that on our number six. Then I'm just going to put this tray right back in. Now our bottom one has the quarter inch, also has our ratchets. So we'll take our two ratchets and we'll put those in the cart. I'm also laughing because it's coming with a five and a half millimeter socket, which is a size fastener that Volkswagen uses. And I guess at least you have a 11 and 12 quarter inch drive. But I can't say it enough, like, this is not enough tools to get you through every single job fixing cars. Just something to get you going. All right, so there we go. We have our quarter inch, we have our three eighths. I'm gonna pull the extensions out because we want these in our roll cart too. Now we can go ahead and get our sockets set in. You'll notice our half inch tray is pretty much empty because impact sockets don't usually fit on these kind of trays. But at some point, we'll be adding half inch sockets so we're good there. 3 8 quarter inch. We have our two ratchets. We'll just put these here for now. Normally for me, with these cases, I cut the lid off, but these aren't going to be my tools, so I don't want to permanently damage or alter something that someone else is going to use. And for that tray with the Allens and the big Torx, I'm going to put it right there. And the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put our ratcheting wrenches in our cart here. This ratcheting wrench part of this kit was kind of the thing that really put me in the just, just buy the kit, Charles, because man, oh man, having ratcheting wrenches is awesome. Now, having a regular set of wrenches, probably pretty valuable too, but just having something better than not having nothing. Okay, so we set the cart up. It's as organized as probably I'm going to do because we got to take it all back out and bring it up to the dealership. Anyway, now I came in a little over budget, but I think you could do a little bit better than I did on sales and things like that. Also, had my Harbor Freight coupon not expired the day before, we would have been absolutely under budget. But either way, this really is enough to get a brand new technician with no tools at all started. And then they can work with their shop foreman or whoever to build a better, more complete, more thorough kit and upgrade along the way. The big key though that I was looking for when I was putting this together was a good price point 
and a lifetime warranty, and we were able to hit almost everything on those points. I'm gonna talk a little bit about technicians for just a minute. Now, I know that's not everybody's thing, so maybe watch uh, taking the S4 to a rally cross or video or something like that. But listen, to my current technicians, whether you're new in your career or you have a lot of experience or you're in tech school or you're thinking about it, you guys never in probably automotive history has there ever been a time where you are more in demand. What that means is you've never ever had more leverage to get in a better job, a better dealer, a better shop with more benefits, higher pay. You've never had a better opportunity than right now and probably it's only gonna get better going forward. That doesn't mean that the industry is caught up with that. They're behind. So you're gonna have to fight for these things that now you have more potential than you ever had ever to get that. Nobody when I started at the dealership would have ever considered uh, supplying tools and now I like to think anyway at, at the better shops that is becoming a bit more normal. So please take advantage of that. If that means you got to go to a different shop or you got to move to a different dealership or you got to move out of state, now's the time to capitalize on it. We are seeing and will continue to see a dramatic shift, a dramatic flux in the automotive industry. I beg of you if you're not happy in your job and what you're doing, now is the time to make that shift, to capitalize on that because things are gonna get different. And for a lot of us, it's gonna get a lot harder. And for some of you, there's almost unlimited opportunity. You just gotta seize that and take advantage of it. So uh, I really hope that you do because this has been a good industry to me and it can be a good industry for you. With that, I'm gonna wrap it up. Uh, links to some of this stuff, what I can find anyway, will drop down in the description, at least the things that I use all the time. Uh, big thanks to Leith Volkswagen and Carry for helping me put this thing together and also, most importantly, for paying the bill so that I didn't have to. With that, I'm out. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.